This operation was decided in 2013 by Monsieur Leclerc, the Prefect of Haute-Savoie, and Colonel Francois, Commander of the Gendarmerie, in agreement, of course, with the Commune and its mayor, to regulate this route to Mont Blanc a little, because it was recognized by everyone that this route was being taken by people who necessarily didn't have the ability, or those who didn't know how to do it, or those who camped even though it was forbidden. So it was found necessary in 2013 to establish the measure that two gendarmes for about 50 days of the summer, between mid-June and mid-September, are there to advise people, inform them and remind them that camping is forbidden on the classified site of Mont Blanc, except at the Tête Rousse base camp, and also to advise them about the weather, conditions and best way to succeed to the summer. So it was a real success because there were 43 tents there in the summer of 2012, scattered randomly near the refuge de Goutet at 3,800 metres, whilst in the summer of 2013 there was only one or two tents during the summer. When someone is there to remind them of the rules and has the authority to do it, like a gendarme, listening becomes easier and success for all is important. Everyone agrees that this system has also made it possible to reduce the number of accidents and also the number of victims on this route. It's difficult to say there's a cause and effect, but you can certainly say that the gendarmes' information has been very important and has certainly saved some lives. I think we can be proud of that. Now for the rules and such. Along with the gendarmes, we also have a Nepalese guide who comes every year to remind people of the rules, and we have ambassadors on the tramway de Mont Blanc. The rules are simple. You have to be in good shape to climb Mont Blanc. It's best to take a guide from the region, either from Saint-Gervais, Chamonix, Megève, or contamine Montjoie or Solange. The conditions have to be good, and you have to be humble in the mountains. It's not because you've planned to do Mont Blanc on August 2nd that you can do Mont Blanc on August 2nd. It takes time. It depends on whether you're in good shape and, of course, on something else, the capacity at the shelters to receive climbers. Because today, camping is prohibited, except for at the base camp close to the refuge de Tête Rousse, where there is a limit of 50 places. Today, if you don't go to the base camp at Tête Rousse, you must have a place at a shelter. So someone that might not have reserved a place at a shelter, or at Refuge de Tête Rousse, or at Refuge de Goutet, cannot do Mont Blanc. People have to understand this rule, which is the same when you take an aeroplane. You don't go on the plane if it's full. You don't do Mont Blanc if you don't have a place in a shelter.